to get to Andy Carson with a look at your weather. Our own Tony Martinez joins us, not from the studio, you guys. Busy. He yeah. is in Monaco. No. Look at this view. Well. Ah. Very special assignment from the French Riviera. <laughs> <laughs> Stop mocking us, yeah. Tony. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, but you're covering the all electric can, can you... Formula E Grand Prix. Hi, tell us what you're doing. Hi, Tony. Well, can, can you spot me down there on the beach? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm right here. Oh, here I am. Yay! Uh, yeah, so we're in, in Monaco. And yay! Do I look tired? Because I really am. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much I've slept in the last oh, day and a half. Uh, but yeah, we're here covering the Formula E, Monaco E Prix, which is Saturday. But we're here, you know, a couple of days ahead of time, kind of getting uh, the lay of the land and kind of checking things out. In fact, I have a really, you think I'm here just having fun, but I'm really working pretty hard. And, um, I can tell you more about that. So this is Alex Horton. Alex is uh, with the you're the promotion, no, public relations manager for, for Formula E. So what are we doing tomorrow, Alex? Mm, we're working hard. We've yeah. been working hard, haven't we? We're, uh, we're going to be speaking to uh, Jake Dennis, who's our uh, Andretti driver and also uh, team principal, Roger. Right. We've got you speaking to uh, James Barkley, who is Jaguar. The Jaguar. Oh, I say, we say Jaguar. Jaguar. Jag, but you say Jaguar. 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 <laughs> you want to be uh, specific. I got to work on that. And, uh, and most importantly, we have you talking to uh, Stoffel Van Dorn. Right. Uh, to DS Penske. Yeah, and he, uh, he won last year. Yeah, importantly, he won in Monaco last year, and he's our reigning champion yeah. for uh, the, 20, <laughs> the season nine, season eight series. This sounds like an awful lot of work, Alex. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well... <laughs> As long as you let a guide me through all this, that'd uh, be cool. Be and, and I, we're also going to a swanky dinner on uh, Saturday, Friday, yeah. Friday, we're, on, uh, on a yacht. On a yacht, doing as well oh, as oh. And so, so what are you going to wear to that? Monaco chic. We know. Well, <laughs> I thought it was Monaco fancy. Monaco fancy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to hit up the Gucci store before we get. Uh, love to see you. Thanks, we'll be thanks. seeing you tomorrow morning. You guys, um, it's just been so much fun uh, being here. It just, I mean, I really, I'm overwhelmed. I got to tell you, I've been watching auto racing at this track, Monaco, on television since I was a child. Oh. My dad used to sit us down and have us watch. Oh. And to see this location and these iconic buildings and these turns and these parts of the course uh, in person, it's it's really, it's quite emotional for me. And it's almost like seeing an old friend, like if you go to New York and you see the Empire State Building for the first time, yeah. that thing's like, I know you, <laughs> you know? I've been kind of having that feeling a little bit. So do you have any questions? I know the, the delay is kind of uh, pronounced. So I, um, I'll give you a chance to ask the question if you like to. I, I don't think the delay is, is not pronounced from what I can tell, but Tony, I mean, the big point here is that it's coming to Portland this summer and we were all so excited for you. Andy said earlier well, right. he, he would be <laughs> jealous of you if he weren't so happy for you is what Andy said. So, you know, it is coming to Portland and right. you're really going to give us a taste yeah. of what we can expect, right? Yeah, good point. So Alex, uh, Shauna was just saying that, that I missed reminding everybody that the Formula E is coming to Portland in yeah. uh, June, June 24th. So are you going to be traveling with the team? Yeah, yep. I'm going to be there. Oh, the fourth of June. okay. Okay, well, bring your denim and your ripped denim. Because there'll be no <laughs> Monaco. <laughs> that, that is Portland chic. All right. Okay, you guys, i got to go catch uh, something to eat here and take a little tour around town. But lovely to see you guys all. Uh, and again, we're about a mile south of, of where the track is. Um, so we're not quite like in the center of everything right here, but we're near the hotel, which is right over there somewhere. I don't know. Rough. Anyway. Amazing. All right. Yeah. Love you all. Miss oh, you all. Yeah. We miss you, we Tony. Love you, buddy. In touch. I Wish need to we make a, a, a retraction. Okay, I'm no longer cheers. happy for Tony. I'm just just plain, just plain jealous yeah. of Tony. You know what? What uh, I need to tell you is that reference to the ripped denim. So he got a list of what you know dress code for some of these things. It says like Monaco chic, oh. and it has suggestions of what to wear, and said don't wear your ripped denim. Oh, okay. Well, Which Tony doesn't wear anyway. Uh -huh. okay, so yeah. it was they can bust that out when they visit. Yeah. Portland. Wow. Yes, yes. Wow. Portland yeah. chic and yeah. flannels. Yeah, and I'm not sure who's running his camera, but it's spot on. <laughs> spot on. It is so good. He's I mean, good we're talking good stuff right there. So uh, I'm so glad. Looking forward to seeing more and more yeah. of this in the uh, next few days. Let's go 